this video where we are going to be discussing how Vaseline can help our orchids or at least my orchids. And maybe you have issues with ants in your pots, around your pots, wanting to do what they normally do, go for the sugar, the happy sap, you know, all that good sweet stuff that ants enjoy so much. Well, here is my Fias Tancanvillier and she is, for this rare occasion, under my south facing covered portico. The reason being, look at those spikes. They are over a meter long. I also have had several windstorms come through, heavy, heavy rains. And last year I had such an ant infestation and they brought a whole gaggle of friends along. They cultivated and farmed their aphids in my spikes and blooms, it was a nightmare to get rid of them. Now, our spring has been extremely cold, and as I was watching these spikes develop, I thought, well, maybe there's one positive side to this. I won't have angst on these spikes, and I'll be able to get to enjoy my blooms the way Tancanvillia blooms are beautiful, gorgeous, without the blemishes of any aphids and ant acid around my buds and blooms. Well, as you saw in the opening footage, within 24 hours, while this orchid used to live up against a hedge, not a single ant in sight, now you can see I've got buds coming out and 24 hours later, this morning, I find a little trail of communication between ants as to where they should go. Yeah, right, buddy. I've got some stuff up there. Yep, you're on the right spike. Let's go. See you later. I'm on my way. Okay, I'm going to get the rest of the troop. I'll be right back that kind of stuff. And while I've been preparing for this video, sorry for the long intro, but you know, really every day that you get your Vaseline out to protect your spikes. But while I was preparing for this video, 30 minutes later, I'm back here filming now, and I can see a gaggle of ants on the other spike where previously there was none. These guys are fast. So we are going to go in a little bit closer. We're going to protect my spikes and pot with Vaseline, and I'll explain to you how how this works. Before I continue, I want to put a real disclaimer out there. I never ever try to eradicate ants out of my pots. I had once a colony in my Phragmopedium Garen Weaver. That was my mistake. The ants were doing what they were doing and, well, I shouldn't have let that happen. So that was a one-off. Normally, I do not try to eradicate ants because they keep a little bit of the happy sap if there's any excesses. They keep that in check because any excess of happy sap that crystallizes or, for example, gets too much can cause all other kinds of problems like rot because of all the bacteria that also enjoy the sugars. So if I see ants throughout the season in my collection, I honestly don't have a problem with that and I don't do anything about it. The reason I am really going to protect my fire spikes is because of what happened last year. So I just want to put that out there in general ants are not a problem in my collection. I just want to see fire's tank and billiard blooms <laughs> properly. <laughs> You want to make sure that your Vaseline is 100% pure petroleum jelly. The petroleum jelly is made by the waxy petroleum material that has formed on oil rigs and then distilling it. The lighter and thinner oil-based products make up petroleum jelly. It's also known as white petrolatum or sometimes on the list of ingredients it can also just show up as simply petrolatum. Now, if you're growing your collection outside and you're saying, well, <laughs> it's going to be raining, what's the point? I can put your mind at rest because we know that oil repels water. And of course, that is only limited. But by the time these blooms have bloomed out, it's going to be okay because it's going to take a long, long time for that Vaseline to degrade or get washed away. I will probably have to wipe it off before it even gets to the point of disappearing on its own. So let's have a look-see. There are several places where we can apply our Vaseline as a barrier. Now, the first and the most obvious, around the spikes. But I don't want them even coming over the rim of the pot. So what I'm going to do is put a barrier around the rim of the pot. Now, careful with this stuff. Of course, it is super, super slippery. This is something where I'm going to have to make a note to self. This is slippery stuff. Next time I handle my pots, I really have to be on the lookout and remember that I did this. Shouldn't be too difficult because for a little period of time, it'll also look a little bit like 
unsightly, let's say, because it will collect and attract dust and the dust will stick on the Vaseline. So at least I should have a visual reminder that the Vaseline is here. <laughs> and then clean it off when my Phias has finished blooming. Is it worth the effort? Well, that is all relative. For me, it absolutely is because I was rather horrified to see what I saw last year. So I'll finish that off camera. The next place, obviously, very obvious, is around the spike. I like to put it as low as possible. This way, if they were to try and climb up, then they can also find some leaves, and then this whole area will be protected, hopefully, and stop them from accessing my spikes. When was the last time I did this? Back in Kenya, when there were other little critters chomping away on some of the orchids that I could reach. So Vaseline went around the base and around the trunk, heavily of the tree, and the problem was solved. So we're gonna be very liberal and put the Vaseline here. Now, another thing is my orchid, of course, is going to lose some of the leaves. You can see that my bulbs don't hold on to leaves in my climate, and then eventually the Vaseline will obviously go with the leaves. And if this were to happen in your garden, eventually the Vaseline will wash off after a long time, and you don't have to wipe it off or anything like that. It'll just wash away at some point in time, especially when it comes to fires. In many, many climates, they obviously become big, big bushy specimen plants. In my climate, unfortunately, with my lack of humidity, I don't see my fires ever becoming big and bushy. So this Vaseline will be gone when the leaves go. But for, let's just say, little bit more of a protective measure. These new growths will also produce sugars. I've never seen ants on new growths, so I'm not too concerned, but I am definitely going to make sure that the base of my spikes and growth have this barrier and the entire pot. So I'm going to finish this up and then we're going to see how the ants on the top are responding if you are interested and if they can find their way down because they shouldn't but by that time there we go there's one right there by that time they will also be blown off by me because nobody is going to stay up there not on my watch now wherever the ants are touching any structures know that in if you have that similar situation ants will find a way and come and traverse on leaves. That is why I say protect the spike because just the rim of the pot is not going to do the job. So anywhere where ants can start to access the spike, a layer of Vaseline in certain areas up the spike will do the trick. The Vaseline will not kill the ants. So it's not like it is not environmentally friendly. It'll just stop them in their tracks.
So I don't know if I captured any ideal footage, but I did let the camera run at the base of this spike right here, which was the main target for the time being. I have reinforced Vaseline at several intervals up the spike also right to the base of the buds. So the plan now is just to make sure that the ants don't have any more access to my buds and afterwards they can do what they want. But having said that, I hope I captured the footage of one ant successfully crossing the first barrier of Vaseline, happy with himself and marching all the way up to the top to the second barrier of Vaseline. And then he fell off. <laughs> So his little feet got a bit slippery, which is just as well. You see, it doesn't exactly kill the ants. And also, I know I have some ants in the pot because some of them are now trapped. Depending on how they got into the pot, some are now trapped because of the Vaseline around the edge. I'm not particularly bothered, but I shall continue to watch this. I just have to now look for ants that are in here because I just saw one. They are trapped because they can't go down anymore but that's maybe two or three that I will have and that's it. I'm hoping for a proper Fias Tuncumbilia blooming this year. Besides that, Vaseline is wonderful for tired orchid hands. <laughs> so while I was watching these ants do their thing, <laughs> I've been working my cuticles. <laughs> Thank you. I really hope that this was helpful. I'm looking forward to my blooms. It's been a while <laughs> and I really appreciate your time. Have yourselves a very beautiful day on one condition though, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.